All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're talking about the Pittsburgh Steelers in tonight's video, folks. What a difference one week makes. It took two minutes and 13 seconds for Russell Wilson to cement himself. Obviously, might I add that Russ is still QB1. It's not even close. And I don't mean that as any shade towards Justin Fields in any way, shape or form. I'm just saying Russell Wilson was brought in for a very specific reason, folks. I'm not trying to rag on Pittsburgh Steelers team at all because I love this squad and I want this team to make the moves and make the run I know you guys can make. The Pittsburgh Steelers have not won a playoff football game in way too long. We can deal and think about the future quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers at the end of this season or you know, maybe hopefully not midseason or towards the end of the season. We'll deal with all that future crap in due time. The Pittsburgh Steelers have not won a playoff game in over five years and it has just been way too long and when we take a team like last year's pittsburgh steelers roster with that defense with some of these weapons offensively it's literally inexcusable and so last week russell wilson and the first team pittsburgh steelers and just to be honest with you the whole pittsburgh steelers offense in general they really struggle right they really struggle but specifically russell wilson extremely struggled so it is just awesome to me because there's countless examples folks i think like the owen 16 detroit lions went undefeated in play or in preseason you know the baltimore ravens went on that crazy winning streak last year's pittsburgh steelers kenny pickett looked like the future franchise quarterback of the pittsburgh steelers and now he's the backup quarterback for the philadelphia eagles so it's preseason now, it's just preseason, but welcome back to the channel. Obviously, we're talking about Pittsburgh Steelers in tonight's video. But before we do, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content, along with way too many Steelers videos every single week. Steelers fans, NFL fans, we're trying to get this video to 250 likes to finalize preseason. That would mean the absolute world to me. So I really think case in point for the Pittsburgh Steelers offensive struggles, or I should make it a little bit more broader. People were freaking out about the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'll use a really good case example of somebody on Instagram. This was a funny ass, funny, funny video. They put my thumbnail from like two weeks ago that the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to be like scary good. And it was right after the second preseason game. And I, at the bottom, it was like that SpongeBob thing where they're on like, you know, the weakest, you know, most lame roller coaster of all time. And they're freaking out or whatever the meme was meme has like 5 million views it has like hundreds of thousands of likes and my freaking hyping up the Steelers offense on the thumbnails right there on the top of the screen I think it's just a really good representation of why we don't care about preseason if you care about preseason it's more so like I'm a Packers fan right Seeing Jordan Love throw 30 65 yards to Dontavian Wicks in our second preseason game to start it off, or first preseason game, sorry, to start off that preseason, like it just makes me feel better. And that was the only three snaps he played, right? Just 65 yard touchdown pass, like that's gonna work for me. But even if my starting quarterback went out there and struggled, like say Russell Wilson did last week, it's not the end of the world. If you are watching these preseason games, you're probably just like a hardcore Steelers fan. Or if it's you know not a Steelers game, you're probably just a hardcore NFL fan. And you care about the things most people don't. You care about these camp battles. You're looking for fantasy football potential guys. You know, you just like your or you love your football team or you just love football. Preseason is preseason, man. So the good news is both Russell Wilson and Justin Fields each led touchdown drives for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, unfortunately, guys did lose 24 to 17 to Detroit Lions, but once again, obviously, it's a preseason football game. At the time of this recording, we're out here live from the Outer Banks. It's Saturday night. Live. Welcome back. Welcome back, folks. I'm the host. Uh, it's live here Saturday night. I haven't seen any. I just freaking drove from Florida, but I haven't seen anything about Mike Tomlin naming Russell Wilson the starter, but I would assume that's probably less than 24 hours away. Uh, Justin Fields did his thing. We'll get to all that in just a second. But the indication here is that, you know, Russell Wilson's job was never really at risk. Uh, he dealt with that calf injury to start off training camp. And, you know, Justin Fields took full advantage of that. I've been saying it all offseason, folks. The Steelers have a phenomenal problem. You have two quarterbacks that started in the NFL last season and could be starters for 
you know, the Pittsburgh Steelers is upcoming season. I, that kind of sounded a little bit weird, but you get what I'm saying. Like, Russ is Russ. Justin is Justin. They both come with pros. They both come with cons. Uh, but you do have two starting quarterbacks in your quarterback room in preseason. So, man, I loved what I saw from Russell Wilson today. And he only threw two passes. He was two of two. He's the starting quarterback. I'm so glad we saw Cordell Patterson finally in preseason today because when court when the official like kickoff rules were adjusted or i should say modified changed in the offseason and then the pittsburgh steelers it felt like you know a couple of days later signed cordell patterson and we haven't really you know we haven't seen it in preseason but just the fact that today he ripped off a 31 yard touchdown run with russell wilson and the first team starters once again just as a reminder the pittsburgh steelers have Najee harris you have Jalen Warren as your RB1, RB2. Jalen Warren is banged up right now, but you still have Cordell back there. And Cordell can catch. He can run. He's been with Arthur Smith for a very long time. He can return kicks. Returning kicks is his bread and butter. But just seeing that 31-yard touchdown rush reminds you of that Arthur Smith versatility, and it reminds you of that Pittsburgh Steelers versatility. So my point just has been all preseason – you know, let's not sound the alarms here. Let's just give these guys at least six weeks in the regular season. But at, at the very least, let's get to the preseason. Uh, five plays, 60 yards, two minutes, 13 seconds. That's how long it took the Pittsburgh Steelers and the first string offense to score a touchdown. And it's important because coach Mike Tomlin said leading up to the game that he planned to play the starters only long enough to knock off the rust adding that he would quickly move on to backups competing for roster spots so after that first drive Russ is done and Justin Fields comes in he only played three series his first series he leads a touchdown goes three of four 40 yards adds 40 yard or four yards rushing on a pair of carries but the point just is like Russell Wilson's clearly the starter um, also, just a couple of, we're running out of time here. A couple of quick things. Van Jefferson looks good. George Pickens looks freaking great. Um, and Des Fitzpatrick definitely cemented a roster spot today. Two catches, 64 yards. Uh, just a beautiful 59-yarder from Kyle Allen, I believe. And then defensively, real quick, Cam Sutton, amazing interception. He'll be back playing for the Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, you know, in some time in the regular season once that suspension's over. And then, of course, we have to mention Nick Herbig, who had three total tackles, including two sacks and a forced fumble. Keanu Benton with a half sack as well. The German, I had a whole thing going on. I was prepping earlier. Welsh off as a German. A couple of a pair of socks. Uh, that was cool. That's all I got, folks. Um, we got dinner time. So thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button for daily NFL content. But folks, give me your give me your confidence rating scale for the Pittsburgh Steelers after today's preseason game for the Detroit Lions. One out of ten. Ten being extremely confident. One being your freaking tweaking. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your weekend, and we will see you soon. Peace.